From the south side to the west side, a state, local, and federal crackdown on synthetic drugs leads to a string of arrests. Three Jacksonville smokers' video stores are raided. We're told more arrests are expected in the aftermath of these raids. They began at 10 this morning targeting stores suspected of selling spice, K2, and other synthetic drugs. We were first on the scene of these raids this morning, and our I-team is uncovering information about the owners of the stores. First, we go to Channel 4's Jim Piggott with what went down. Jim. Well, this has been an investigation that we're told that has been going on for some time, and it was spurred by complaints by people. People that would be around the smokers video here on the south side, for example, saying that some people were just out of control in the area. And what they're talking about is a synthetic drug, a drug that many people call spice. It's a pot-like substance that people smoke in order to get high. The raids on the three stores started this morning at around 10. The sheriff's office hit up the store on Emerson near I-95. It was there that our cameras caught the arrest of one man. The other stores were also raided this morning. The one on Normandy Boulevard and the store on Beach Boulevard, where detectives spent a good part of the day going through the items. It's been a very long-term investigation. Um, it's been federal, state, and local agencies been involved in the Jacksonville area, but Ed, all of this specifics will be released tomorrow at 2 o'clock. At this point, police are being very closed mouth about how many were arrested and who all is involved. They released the information today because many people saw the raids and had questions. We talked to our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, about why they would conduct these type of raids all at once. Of course, all three would be involved if they're doing all three stores. The reason they do them all together, because if they did just one store, then the other stores could be tipped off and it would give them time to get rid of any evidence that may be there in the store. For others in the area, this is a relief. One woman who works at a nearby store said she didn't want to be identified, but told us the synthetic drugs would attract all types of people. I would take pictures of people, you know, being around the side of the building or out front, and just, you know, slumped over, you know, you can tell they weren't really there. Um, people sitting at the bus stop, just, you know, almost in like a zone. Now, tomorrow around 2 o'clock, Florida's Attorney General Pam Bondi is going to be in town. She's going to be talking about these raids, and that's when we're going to get more information. But earlier, she had been saying she is against these synthetic drugs, has been fighting them for some time, saying that they can even kill people. We're live on the South Side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. This crackdown extended beyond the three video stores. Police also made arrests at a home on the South Side. Channel 4 Scott Johnson spoke to a neighbor who saw a couple being taken into custody. He's joining us live. Scott? Neighbors tell me they didn't really know what was going on in the community behind me until I told them about why police were there to take Greg and Lori Burris into custody. Neighbors say they went with police willingly. We have a mugshot here of the husband, Greg Burris. He is married to Lori Burris, who is listed as part owner of one of the smokers' videos location. Burris, Greg Burris listed on all of them. I spoke with neighbors who tell me they saw a man and woman being loaded into a patrol car earlier today. I'm told they have not lived here very long, and no one really knew what this was about until I told them about the connection to the smokers' video raids. They walked two people, a couple, out of the out through the garage and put them in one of the JSO cars. And there was no reluctance to get in the car. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it wasn't like, I don't want to go or any of that sort of thing. There was no conversation at all. They just walked them out, put one in one side, one in the other. And the address for this home is also listed as the address for SunBiz, which is the uh, business that is listed with the state as the corporate owner of Smokers Videos. Live on the South Side, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner spent the day digging into the business owner's records and uncovered an apparent criminal past. Lindsay. We have found the owner tied to racketeering charges connected to video stores. It's a business model he's apparently very familiar with. Based on state records, these three smokers video stores are all owned by Greg Burris. And this is that picture of Greg Burris from a previous arrest in Central Florida. Police have not said if Greg Burris was arrested today. They're not releasing the names of anyone arrested. Well, the I-Team has confirmed the owner of smokers has a criminal history. In 2002, Burris was arrested for eight counts of racketeering and 25 other counts, including possession of obscene material. That case was tied to another video store. He pled guilty to four of the obscene material charges. We also found Burris sued a state attorney in Central Florida in federal court 
arguing his inability to sell adult videos was a violation of his civil rights. That case was dismissed. Again, that video store model, something he knows well. He has owned 10 other video-related businesses in two states, Florida and Georgia, including another in Jack's Beach. But they are all now inactive, according to the Florida Secretary of State. Tom and Mary. Thank you, Lindsay. We have some background information on synthetic marijuana. The drug, which also goes by the name Spice or K2, looks like herbal tobacco or natural marijuana. It is made from a dried plant material and chopped up herbs. Synthetic cannabinoids, which is a family of more than 700 chemicals, are then sprayed onto that material. Those chemicals can cause side effects, including high blood pressure, blurred vision, heart attacks, and in extreme cases, death. The drug is banned both here in Florida and all across the country.